In Christian heresiology, there have been historical claims that certain Christian sects worshipped the devil. This was especially an issue in the reaction of the early Church to Gnosticism and its dualism, where the Creator deity is understood as a demiurge subordinate to the actual, transcendent God. <laughs> Satan in the Hebrew Bible in the Hebrew Bible God is depicted as the source of both light and darkness, as in Isaiah chapter 45 verses 6–7. This concept of «darkness» or «evil» was not yet personified as «the devil». The author of the books of Chronicles is thought to have first introduced the notion of «divine intermediaries», which was not found in the earlier parts of the Hebrew Bible. The main evidence adduced by theologians to support this is 1 Chronicles chapter 21, a reworked version of 2 Samuel chapter 24. This change is made most evident in the chronicler's treatment of 2 Samuel chapter 24 verse 1. And again the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel, and he moved David against them to say, Go, number Israel and Judah. Which, in 1 Chronicles chapter 21 verse 1, becomes, and Satan stood up against Israel, and provoked David to number Israel. In the book of Samuel, YHWH himself is the agent in punishing Israel, while in 1 Chronicles an «adversary» is introduced. This is usually taken to be the result of the influence of Persian dualism on Israelite demonology. Scholars are divided on whether in Chronicles, «the adversary» had already become a proper name, «the adversary» Satan. The traditional opinion has been that this is the case, arguing from the absence of the definite article in Saint and adversary. S. Yafet in her The Ideology of the Book of Chronicles and Its Place in Biblical Thought 1989 argued against mainstream opinion in suggesting that Satan still had the generic meaning and only became the proper name, Satan, at a later date, by about the 2nd century BC. <laughs> Ancient Christianity Topic. Tertullian accuses Marcion of Sinop, the first major heretic of Christianity in the first century, that he "...held that the Old Testament was a scandal to the faithful and accounted for it by postulating that Jehovah was a secondary deity, a demiurgus, who was God, in a sense, but not the supreme God, he was just, rigidly just, he had his good qualities, but he was not the good God, who was Father of our Lord Jesus Christ." The Church condemned his writings as heretical. John Arenzen in the Catholic Encyclopedia 1913 mentions that Eusebius accused Apelles, the second-century AD Gnostic, of considering the inspirer of Old Testament prophecies to be not a god, but an evil angel. Hegemonius 4th century accuses the Persian prophet Mani, founder of the Manichaean sect in the 3rd century AD, identified Jehovah as the devil god which created the world, and said that he who spoke with Moses, the Jews, and the priests is the prince of darkness, not the God of truth." According to their critics, these heretics referred to the Abrahamic God variously as, "...a demiurgus", "...an evil angel", "...the devil God", "...the prince of darkness", "...the source of all evil", "...the devil", "...a demon", a cruel, wrathful, warlike tyrant, Satan, and the first beast of the Book of Revelation. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Medieval Christianity. Topic. <inaudible> Nicholas Weber in the Catholic Encyclopedia article Albigenses 1907 notes that the enemies of the Albigenses, a Christian sect in 12th and 13th century France, a branch of the Cathari, accused them that their doctrine held that, "...the creator of the material world is the source of all evil he created the human body and is the author of sin." The Old Testament must be either partly or entirely ascribed to him, whereas the New Testament is the revelation of the beneficent God." They ultimately came into conflict with both the civil order and the Church which led to the Albigensian Crusade. See also 
Topic: God in Abrahamic religions. Misotheism and distheism. Problem of evil. Problem of hell. Theodicy. Zah. Topic. Footnotes. Topic. <laughs>